following knife review is a knife loaned to me from my friends at whitemountainknives.com. When you're in the market for a good knife, make sure you check out whitemountainknives.com. They have excellent customer service, excellent prices, and very quick shipping. That's whitemountainknives.com. Hey YouTube, Joe here with another quick um, flashlight overview. This time I bring you the Thrunite TN4A. So we've got a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. Now here's the box. It's out of the box already, so but I just wanted to show you the box, how it came, the presentation. I like the I like the presentation. If my uh, camera would cooperate and focus. It's nice. The only thing uh, that came, I mean, besides the flashlight and the pouch, it came with uh, some O-rings and this. I forget what the hell this thing is called. This cap and you know the usual usual instructions and your booklet but very cool box very cool presentation nice different than your your other flashlight companies so here it is I told you guys in my last video getting into the a lot of the flashlights well here's another one to the list so let's tell you about it now the, it's been out for a long time so if you look out look up uh, through night TN 4A you're gonna see a, a ton a ton of videos on it um, I'm not gonna get into in depth about the reflector and all that stuff I'm just gonna show you measure it up show you some things about it uh, I'll also refer to you I mean, like I said some of the big guys have this like some of my uh, guys I follow like we all juggle knives living survival prepared my 101 even I think uh, cutlery lovers got one going back a year or two but um, Oh, I want to want you to bring your attention to definitely check out Living Survival's uh, review of this light. I'm going to put I'll put all three or four of those guys links in case you want to check them out. But the, the one that sets it apart is definitely uh, Ben at Living Survival. He he actually puts this light in a humongous chunk of ice and freezes it up while it's on the whole time. So I thought that was pretty cool. So check it out. Now I was talking to him offline. Is that uh, the difference? One difference on his light versus mine is that his button is black and mine is gray now what that means exactly I don't know uh, maybe his is a newer model maybe mine's a newer model but here it is let's make sure you know focus I like this uh, I guess what do you call it gnarling I guess now I really wanted to get the uh, here it is in the hand and it came like I said too it also came with a lanyard but I already have it on so this is not a uh, unboxing and first impressions. I've already been using this for the last couple of days, taking my dogs out and stuff. I'm going to pair it up against a few other lights to show you, and then we'll turn it on a little bit. But um, this is 1150 lumens. I, oh, I as was, I was saying, I wanted to get that. I think it's the TN36. It's a little out of my price range. It's a bigger, it's like more of a soda can size, uh, the thickness. But um, I couldn't afford it, and I've been buying a lot of stuff lately to review. So I was like, you know what? Let me. I, this one was available. I, um, I got it from my buddy, uh, White Mountain Knives. I just don't remember the price, so uh, I'll put a link to his uh, site so you can check it out in case you want to pick it up from him. I just don't remember how much I paid for it. So um, one button. Now I know in one of my videos I said I'm really, uh, or I don't know if I said it in my video or in response to maybe one of the other guys' videos that I watched. I really dig the two button design, but um, Through Night does a good one button. You know, there's just you know some simple things you need to do, a little bit different than uh, some of the um, some of the uh, night cores I've been buying lately. Let me uh, let me show you a compare size wise to. Let's see, this is the the night core EA41. So you can see it's probably something that competes against and just for another size comparison I know granted it's totally different now this is just both light comparison I'm going to compare it to other things so you can see this is the uh, the EC4 by Nikkor can't even get that in a frame so there you go so you can tell that basically this is the one that competes they compete against each other this is something totally different you know unibody design so let's get this out of the way. Uh, let's see some other things for you to so you can tell the size difference. The famous dollar. So you can see pretty much covers the dollar. 
As you can see, one negative, it does roll. If you want it, something to stay on there like that, it's not going to. If that's a really a big negative, I don't know. Uh, you know, we're going to let's put it against a few knives. Let's put something here to block it. There we go. There's uh, my basically been my current daily carry right now is the uh, the clone of the ZT0562 carbon fiber. So there it is against that. Let's see what else we put it against. I happen to have cold steel handy. Oh no, this is not. Yeah, I just recently reviewed this the the uh, Fin Wolf. So there it is against that. Now one thing that I definitely like. Well, what the heck? I got the ruler here too. There it is against the ruler. Now some positives it has like over the night the night core. Uh, well, right off the bat, granted, I don't, you're not going to buy a flashlight just because of uh, a better pouch. But I like the this pouch on the through night is definitely much better than this cheaper cheaper night core pouch. I'm not saying that the night core pouch is bad, but if you want to compare the two, this is definitely a nicer pouch. Has a nicer feel, more cushion. It's just it's just well made. Like this one has no cushion in it at all, really, and this one has like a nice kind of cushiony feel that's going to protect the light. So definitely kudos to Drew Knight for a nicer pouch. But again, like I said, most of us are not going to buy flashlights because of the nicer pouch. Um, one thing I like before we go through just uh, you know, two positives that this light has that the that the Nightcore doesn't have is, first of all, it comes and you can put the four you, first of all, you can number one, you could use um, AA batteries. I have uh, NLO Pro, Eneloop Pro, I guess you would say. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, rechargeables in here. And what's cool about this is, uh, like I said, you could use the regular, you could use the rechargeable. Like I told you in my videos, I'm into the rechargeable right now. But this can go in either way. So there's no no chance for any confusion, you know? I was like, oh, I put it in, I put it in wrong. In one of my old videos, I put the battery in wrong, and I here I am hacking away at it, and the reason, and uh, it wasn't working is obviously because I put it in wrong. Here, you can't make the mistake. I mean, yes, you could make the mistake in here putting it wrong, but once, you know, this is pretty self-explanatory, but once they're in here, you know, it doesn't matter which way you put it, it's gonna work, so. So I like that. I like that it can use double A's in a pinch. It's like my rechargeables go on me and I don't have time to charge. I can, um, as you can see here, came with a lot of factory oil on it, which I like. Now I'll shut the lights off really quick. I'm not going to have it all off, but I'll make it a little bit dark. So one thing that's cool again is that this goes straight to turbo if you hit this button twice. So if I go right there, there's your turbo mode. Now, if you hold it down, as you're holding it down, it goes through all the other modes except turbo. Uh, so if you see one that you want to stay at, you just re release it. So like right now, I don't know what the technical term is for this low mode, but there it is. Now it stays at that. Now if you want to go to the next one, just hold the button down and it goes to the next one. And I think. Yeah, it keeps the memory once you shut it off. But if you really quickly, oh, I need that extra light, double click and boom, goes to turbo mode. I like that. So that makes things easier, you know, when you really need to get to that that higher setting. Now, I'll be honest, most of the times I use the turbo, uh, when I'm near my dogs, I might want to go to a lower setting. I don't want to hurt their eyes, you know. So, but if I'm looking at stuff because I have a pretty uh, big property, it could be a, you know, coyote on the property, it could be deer. So boom, just slam that light, double click that light really quick, and there you go. You got the turbo. So that's pretty nice. Now there also has, let's turn the lights back on. When it's when it's on, it has this blue light. Now, I, I wish I remember what the heck this light does. It probably has something to do with charging. Uh, whether it's charged or not, but I do not recall. That's why I'm going to refer you to, that's why this is just an overview um, instead of a full blown review. I just why I'm going to refer, refer you to Living Survival and some of the other gentlemen that reviewed this knife. Uh, this knife. God, I got a knife on the brain. That reviewed this flashlight. Um, but so far, I just wanted to show you my my take on it. I love it. I think it's great. 
Uh, I didn't think I, now that I've had the uh, been using the dual button design, I didn't think going back to the single button design I would like it, but I like it. It doesn't really take much effort. It also has a, uh, a what do you call it mode as well? I can't think of what the heck um, how to get to it though. Um, what the heck is it? Uh, the not the beacon mode, but has it has one, at least one other mode. I just didn't go over it with you. So I'll just show it to you some more. I highly recommend this. Now, I'm not I'm not all up on all the stats of the deflector, but my main stat is 1150 lumens. That's what I care about. And whether it works well or whether it feels well, I can tell you the truth. Whether it looks nice too, you know, who wants an ugly flashlight? You know, and this is really cool looking. There it is in the hand again. So, if you want to look at the deflector, there it is. You can stand up if you wanted to. So, let's zoom in for this final shot. So there you have it, the Thrunite TN4A flashlight. Very nice, 1150 uh, lumen flashlight. Very durable, especially if you go by uh, Ben's uh, video. <laughs> the thing was in solid ice and it was going, so it definitely could take a beating. I highly recommend it. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I hope you enjoyed the video.